Hey everyone, my name is Deandra. I'm the lead technician at Culture Hub. Today I'll be walking you through the basics of our open source free, yes, I said free, video collaboration software called LiveLab. Now what is LiveLab? LiveLab is a browser-based media router that can be used for meetups, that can be used for performances, multi-location performances from all over the world, um, rehearsals, and so many other things. Um, if you guys want to check out some videos on how we've used it in the past, you can go to our YouTube page at Culture Hub NYC. Now LiveLab also is still in its beta version, which means we really want you guys to play with it and let us know what you think, um, what it's missing, what you like, what you don't like and feel free to email us at info at culturehub.org with all that feedback. We would love to hear from you all. Now let's get into Live Lab. So the two things you're going to need, laptop or desktop, and the latest version of Google Chrome downloaded on that laptop or desktop. So now I'm in Google Chrome. I'm going to go to livelab.app. Enter. And that's going to take me to the landing page of Live Lab. So now I see I have a bit of information here and below next to this little camera icon and next to this microphone icon, I see that it says no video and no audio. So right now, LiveLab is not recognizing any sources of video and any sources of audio. What that means is, is that I have to give permission to LiveLab to be able to use my camera and my microphone. So if I go, go up here, there's a little pop-out window and it says LiveLab.app wants to use your microphone. I'm gonna press allow and ask me the same question for my camera, allow. Now, if that pop-up window doesn't come up for you, that just means you probably have to go into your advanced Chrome settings and add LiveLab.app as a website that you give permission to your camera and your microphone to be able to use. So now I'm seeing something. I have a background. Um, if I look next to my video icon, I have a source. If I look next to my microphone icon, I have a source. But I don't want Cam Twist to be my video source. For those of you who don't know what Cam Twist is, Cam Twist is just a virtual camera software. But I don't want that to be my video source. I want my FaceTime HD camera to be my video source. So in that drop down, I'm gonna select my FaceTime HD camera. And I'm here, you can see my face now. And the same goes for my audio. I don't want this USB audio codec to be my audio source. I want it to be my internal microphone. So I'm gonna select that. Cool, and I have a video source, I have an audio source. Now below that, there's a little man icon or a little woman icon. And next to that, it says name. So I'm gonna put my name, Deandra. For those of you who didn't know, nice to meet you. And now my name's there. Now I see that I have a start button and I have a settings button. Now the settings button is just a video and audio configuration settings area that we're not gonna worry about in this particular tutorial, but maybe in a later tutorial, um, we'll get more into that. So for now, we're just gonna press start. And now I'm in the room. You can see me, but it's only me, which defeats the whole purpose of joining a room, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL up here, and I'm gonna email it to somebody that I wanna join this room. Cool, so I sent it to somebody that I wanna join the room. So while we wait for them, I'll just go through kind of the, um, the basic features of LiveLab. So if you look at the bottom here, it has my name. Next to it, it has a little video icon. If I click on that, what that does is it mutes my video feed. I'm gonna click on it, can't see me. I'm gonna unclick it, now you can see me. Next to that, there's a microphone icon. If I click on that microphone icon, it's gonna mute me. Unmute, you can hear me now. And then next to that, there's a little box with an arrow on it. If you click on that box, it's gonna pop out a window. It's gonna pop out an output window. So now with this window of my feed, I can drop it anywhere I want to. So if I have an external monitor, I can put it there. If I have a projector, and I wanna have my face floating around for some reason, I can put it there. Um, if I'm a performer and I wanna be able to see myself bigger or see another feed bigger, I can have that. So I don't need this now, so I'm gonna X out of it. And now, ah, Jean's in the room now. So I can also do the same thing with his feed. If I want to make his feed bigger, if I click on that same box with an arrow, it will populate a window and I'll be able to have his feed and drag his feed anywhere I need it. Cool. Now if we go to the right side here, we have that same icon. So we have that video camera icon, click on it and use my video. 
Same goes for audio. A good thing to note is that before you come into Live Lab in the landing page, if for any reason you wanted to join the room prior with no video, no audio, that is possible. You can select no video as your video source and no audio as your audio source. Now below that microphone, we have a little, let's call it monitor with a plus in it. What that allows you to do is share your screen. So you have a couple of options. You can share your entire screen, you can share your application windows on your computer, or you can share the tab that you have open in Chrome. And now below that, this little circle with a plus, this is the add media function. So if at any point, if I wanted to add another video stream or another audio stream, I would just click on that button and it would take me here and I'll be able to add another video or audio feed into this room. Now we're gonna come down to this little settings button and I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see, it pops out a window. And at the top it says number of output switchers. So what that is, is in Live Lab, you're able to create basically um, switchers that usually you would need hardware for. You're able to have switchers that you're, you can switch between feeds with. So it creates an output window. And then from there, if I click on a selected feed, I can have a switcher. I then created a switcher. Below that, it says stretch to fit. Now, if I uncheck this box, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show my actual resolution. So you can see that now, you kinda can see I, I fill my box, right? So I'm at a resolution right now of like 1280 by 720, a 720 resolution. And John's in here at, uh, I think 640 by 480. So he's at a four three ratio. And below that, you see that this little um, settings pop-out window is kind of covering John's feed, right? So if I click on column layout, what that's gonna do is gonna push our feeds to the side and create a column that I then can have all these little tabs kind of pop into, right? So if I select the one that's under settings, which is an audio mixer, here, it's gonna populate into that column. Now what this audio mixer is, is essentially an audio mixer. So what you're able to do is control the master volume and the individual feeds, right? But all of this is on the end user side. So you're only changing this for your side. You're not changing it in the whole room. So if I adjust this volume, the only person that will really hear the effect would be me, not anybody else in the room. The same goes for everything else. If I change the layout of this, if I uncheck stretch to fit, it's gonna change it on my end user side. Um, So I'm gonna X out of those two things because I don't need them right now. Then under that, there's a little chat function. If I click on that, I can chat with Jean. Hey, how are you? He says, hey. And then below that, there's a little miniature people. And what that shows me is just shows me the participants in the room and information about the participants. So it says me, Deandra, then it says my resolution that I'm in the room at currently, and same goes for Jean. So we see that Jean's here at 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second, and I'm in here at 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. And yeah, that's Live Lab. Now the one button I didn't go to is this little phone with a slash to it. If I click on it, what you're gonna see is it's a hang up button. I'm gonna click on it by Jean. What you're gonna see it says bye and that's live lab um stay tuned we'll have some advanced videos coming out in the near future um and if you want to stay up to date with everything live lab and join our live lab community you can go to culturehub.org backslash live lab um thank you and see you soon